We're in the middle of hockey season, so it's the perfect time to get to know the Tampa Bay Lightning's national anthem singer. Sonia Bryson Kirksey's soulful voice and signature blue lipstick have become a staple at most Lightning home games. But as we discovered when we visited her at home in Riverview, singing is just one of Sonia's many talents. And now, let's sing loud and proud with the voice of Bolts Nation, retired U.S. Air Force Technical Sergeant Sonia Bryson Kirksey, as she performs our national anthem. My name is Sonia Bryson Kirksey, and I am the anthem singer for the Tampa Bay Light. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. I started there in 2013. I sang for a Rays game when I was still military, and the producers for The Lightning heard me there, and they liked how I sounded. I did an audition, and I've been there ever since. We're so gallantly I believe my mom said I used to hum and try to sing things when I was still in the crib. So I started talking before I started walking. So that should tell you right there, I've been using this thing for a long time. <laughs> I joined the Air Force in 1987. I stayed in for six years, but then I went back in the military in 2001, right before 9-11. I stayed in until 2015, which is when I retired. During the time of the Gulf War and all of that, we were stationed in places where, you know, you could see Scud missiles going in the distance. So that kind of comes to mind when I sing Rocket's Red Glare, bombs bursting in air, because I've seen that. And the Rocket's Red Glare, the bombs bursting. On a game day, my husband and I arrive about four o'clock and I make my way to the tunnels because it's cold in the building. I try to soak in the cold air because the one thing about vocal cords is if you sing too quickly after you come from hot to cold, it changes your vocal cords. And then we go in for sound check. We do sound check about five. So then I go and put my makeup on. Now that is a process. I tell people this all the time. Any long last lipstick, so whatever blue suits your skin tone, and then any type of makeup grade glitter. So I use two different types of glitter, a blue glitter and then uh, iridescent glitter. It kind of makes your lips pop. So one pass with the lipstick and then after the first pass dries, I do another pass when it's tacky still, put the glitter on there and then put the iridescent on there and then it's business time. And then once I'm done with my makeup, I make my way back to the tunnel and I get to meet usually the anthem guests that they're gonna have on the carpet with me, shake hands with people and then we go out, do our thing, come back. Then I'm off to the rest of the building to, you know, make sure I do some meet and greets with people on the different levels. It's a lot, it's a job. <laughs> it's a job, but I love it. I love the fact that sometimes you meet people who it's their first experience with hockey and they're enjoying themselves to the nines and they love it. The Lightning has not only brought me to the forefront for singing the anthem, but they've taught me hockey. My favorite player is Andre Vasilevsky. What a save by Vasilevsky! Stop by Vasilevsky! Oh, what a save by Vasilevsky! Our goalie is amazing. Some people think that I'm the good luck charm, and they did go on a winning streak as soon as I got there, but I don't feel like I have everything to do with it. I just feel like I, maybe I add to the process. Whenever I come to a game, I know she's gonna be there singing. It's, it's very important as a family and a father. She makes me feel like, you know, um, you know, your mom's there, your sister's there, singing the national anthem, representing the team in Tampa Bay. Uh, to me, there's nothing better. I think she's a marvelous singer, and I think it's very nice that she sings every game as a tradition, and especially when she wears her two Stanley Cup rings. 
Well, she's spectacular. The lipstick color, I mean, I really wish I could wear it one day. She's gorgeous, beautiful, and her voice is just incredible. Sonia brings it every night, eh? All, every time. I'm booked for conferences and different events that happen around town. So I sing for like the Heart Walk, I sing for MS Walk, which is my heart, because I have MS. I don't have like a band or anything that I sing with, but um, I'm looking. My mother calls me a renaissance woman. I have a garden, a, a wonderful garden that I love. I crochet and I also paint. Painting is probably my first love out of all those three because I've been drawing and painting since I was a little kid. Sunny Reading Project is something that my sister and I came up with during COVID. I am the primary reader and I read stories. There are all kinds of stories for little kids or stories for maybe a little older kids. There's some chapter books that I've done. There are things that little black girls want to do in life. So I just like being that role model for any little girls. It doesn't matter whether they're girls of color or you know any other. Like recently, this little girl came up to me and she had on a blue lipstick. But it just made me think about my job, you know, what, what I'm supposed to do, make sure I'm showing myself strong and showing them that they can do it too. You can follow Sonia on Instagram at I am Sonia Bryson Kirksey.